How's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I'm coming to you here from a corner of my art studio. Again, I have many corners in my art studio. <laughs> and today I want to talk to you about the certificate of authenticity, okay? I already explained in another video what it is, okay? It's just to certify a certificate, right? It's to state the authenticity of your artwork. You, you are an artist, whether you are a painter, photographer, sculptor, whatever you do, you create your artwork and uh, many people dread it, right? Many people think like, like oh, how do, where do I get it? How do I, you know, how, do, how does it happen? Who makes it? Does a gallery certify who, you know? It's not necessarily that someone certifies it. All, all, all it is really, is just an extension of the signature of your, of your painting or your, you know, let's say you create paintings. So you sign your painting, right? Uh, you attach something like this. Most artists know about it. Some don't. Uh, actually, many don't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't used to know <laughs> a long time ago. But uh, but all it is is really it's an extension of your art or of, of the signature of your artwork. It's to further state, you know, uh, to the especially to the to the to the client or to the collector. Most people think that it's like, oh, so people don't steal my artwork or blah blah blah. It's a bunch of BS because nobody really knows you, so nobody really cares about stealing your stuff. <laughs> Unless you're like famous, then then you wouldn't you wouldn't be watching this video. <laughs> Unless it's because of my looks or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it's really just uh, an extension of your of your artwork, of your signature, not of the artwork, but of the signature. And people go into depth, like people like like the artsy fartsy type of people. They'll be like, <laughs> they'll be like, oh, it's the provenance, it's the provenance of your work. It's not the provenance of your work. Uh, the provenance of your work just really just it's something else. I'll talk about it in another video. It's not. This is just something else, right? Some people like to say it's the provenance, but it's not. It's, I don't want to confuse you with that kind of stuff it's it's a whole other thing uh it, it, this is just you know what let's just sign it and let's put it let's attach it to the to the to the piece of artwork right to the painting uh let's say you just finish your painting you sign it then you create this little thing uh it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be fancy okay i'll go i'll go through it right now you create this little thing i do them small just because I, I i do quantity uh, I, I, I paint a lot i create a lot i have a lot of prints and stuff a lot of product out there so uh, I don't need to make like this huge thing because I do a lot of stuff. So I used to do that. Now just you know, I get, I got fancier over time. Okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So you attach it on the back of your painting, right? Pop. You glue it. You, you tape it. Whatever. Some people don't like to do that. I'm telling you how I do it. You know, attach it. Sometimes I don't I don't attach it. I just put it you know next to it. Whatever. Uh, it's nice. The collector thinks it's nice, and and of course it is. You know, it's not just because the collector thinks it's nice. It's it's a good thing to have because they they feel more uh uh it's almost, it's almost like a title of a car sort of sort, sort of a thing you know they they feel like oh yeah this is it's legit right it's not just you know it adds a little something it really it's not so meaningful unless you're planning to um uh i don't know most artists think they're gonna be like this super famous wealthy artists and there's nothing wrong with that okay i'm not saying that that there's something wrong with that the problem with that is that they start doing things too perfect where they never actually get to doing them i'm one of those artists who knows i don't think i know i'm going to make a name for myself but uh but i'm realizing that you just have to move you know don't, don't get stuck at it so here we go all right here's how you make your your uh certificate of authenticity pay attention very simple Pow. So here's your sheet of paper. Now, you put your logo right here, right? Logo. Please don't spend... <laughs> I'm just telling you. Don't spend months doing this. Weeks or days. It could be something simple. If you don't know how to do it, don't dread on it. Just just type in your name here in bold letters or something. I don't know. Don't, don't be like, oh my god, I don't have a logo. What do I do? And then that's going to hold you back. Okay, I'm trying to let you know. I wish I had my old one here so you could see my first certificate of authenticity. Man, I was making a killing. That's how I started supporting me and my family with my first certificate of authenticity. And it looked like I had typed it in an old typewriter. <laughs> that's how it looked anyways. No, I used the computer. Uh, I just used the photo. Uh, no, I used, uh, not Photoshop. I used uh, uh, Word. Okay, just any more document. <laughs> so, 
when people go like, oh, I have to use the latest Photoshop. No, you don't, okay? So anyways, logo right here, right? And then your name, in this case, my name is Jose Trujillo, right? This is in bold, right? And then and then artist somewhere, right? Or whatever, however you, you, you define yourself, painter, or photographer, whatever, okay? And then right here, you just put original, you know, uh, oil painting by you know and then your name or whatever right in smaller this this is what you want to make big especially your name okay not so much the logo your name okay just it's, it's it's a piece of branding that's really what it is okay it's something else and then underneath of it you want to put the title of the work okay I'm trying to show you something simple so that you get going don't get don't get too complicated you can get complicated later when you start I don't know, moving forward, selling stuff, and people who are ranting and raving about you. Right now, just get just get moving. Especially photographers, I feel like, get, get it more more than, than painters. So, so if you're a photographer, I just tend to think that. I don't know. I have a bias. <laughs> so, title, right? Title of the work. Bam, right there. It's called uh, Something Awesomeness. Uh, medium of the work underneath. Okay? Bam, bam. You leave this, this open... Uh, if you're going to, if you, if uh, I, I leave them open because I write, I hand write it because I do quantity. Uh, uh, I don't just do like one painting a year. But if you're one of those artists who just, you know, who does one painting here and there, or you take your time with your, with you know, a lot of time with your artwork or whatever, then you want to type it. I don't know, whatever it's easier for you. Okay, underneath you want to put size or dimensions, however, however you you suit it. Okay, but it's title, medium size, and then. Uh, I add a little something, uh, no, I don't, uh, not right there. And then you just put a line right here, right? This can be done in a Word document. Let me see the light that's kind of killing it here. Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter. You guys can see it. So underneath, okay, you leave some space. Remember, this, this is an eight and a half by 11, a regular sheet of paper, okay? Uh, don't get fancy on me yet. And then you put right here, signature of artist. Right, and then right here, date. So this is where your signature goes, right? That's my signature, Trujillo, and we're 2017. Okay, that's where it goes. And then right here at the bottom, something along the lines of this, uh, this certificate of authenticity or this document, however you want to write it, right? Uh, uh, this certifies, right, or this document certifies that the piece described, you know, uh, above, right? But the piece is, you don't have to draw the line, the, the arrow, okay? This document certifies the piece above is an original artwork by so-and-so, okay? You can write that down here. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. It sounds cool, right? It sounds legit, okay? Now, something most artists don't like to do, and I don't know why, maybe because they're not in business mode yet, sadly, is something that I like to do and I always urge people to do it. Put legit information right here. Believe it or not, all of this stuff is nice and important and it adds the je ne sais quoi. You know, it's like, oh, oh, oh. But really, for, for business purposes, for you as an artist, as a, as a professional artist, this is what matters most and this is what matters most. I know many of you might be like, you're crazy, dude. This is what matters. Yes, this matters to your to your, to the awesomeness of your stuff. But business-wise, it's this and this. Why? Because this is your brand, this is who you are, okay? And and Lisa Adams Photography, or whatever your name is, it, it, this is what matters, right? When they see that, they want you, to, they, you want them to think about you, right? And when they talk about it, oh, look, look, look at my painting, it maybe, or the photograph, maybe they can't see really the, the signature, but with the certificate, it's, it's in bold, right? Lisa Adams photography. I don't, I don't, I just made that name up. I don't know if there's a Lisa Adams. If there is, kudos for you. Okay. And then down here, you put the, this, you put your, your, your address, physical address. If you don't have one, do a PO box at the very least, but I wouldn't even go with a PO box. Put a physical address. Unless you live in an apartment, you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change. I know, I know that feeling. Uh, I talk about stuff that I know, guys. Okay, I know that feeling. You don't. If you live in an apartment, you don't want to put a physical address because you live in an apartment, then you might be, you know, moving or whatever. So put a PO box. Okay, make sure that you 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 stay 
current and, and diligent with paying your P.O. box or whatever, at the very least put a P.O. box and put a real phone number, okay? Don't put one of those uh, one of those phone numbers that you're exchanging that you, you, you know what I mean? Those sketchy kind of things or, or, or those, or those uh, uh, lines that they sell for, I don't know, online. No, put a real phone number. If it's not a landline, then put your cell phone number. Most people have a cell now, okay? So, so put a real number, either your studio, the landline, or your cell. Why? Because you want it to be legit. This is what people care about. They want you... See, it all has to do with risk. And I know I'm giving you guys some golden nuggets here, but I trust that you will use them wisely. The client, your collector, really is... They want to know that you're not you're, that you're not stiffing them, that you're not you know that you're legit. So this means that you're legit. Now you being legit doesn't mean that you have to make it fancy. That's where most people go wrong. Okay, uh, you being legit means that you are a real person, that you're legit. It doesn't matter if you write it in a piece of cardboard. I mean, of course you're not gonna write it in a piece of cardboard, but it doesn't matter that you write it in a regular sheet of paper. As long as you have your name, that you're legit. You have your you know your email address right here. Uh, your your website or whatever information, but even your email address and your website is not nearly as important as a physical address. And then followed by a number, a phone number, where they can call you if they need to, and they can be and they can tell you, "Give me my money back because I didn't like what you sold me." I know it scares everyone. Ah, oh, no, why? Why would you? Why would you want to do that? Believe me, that's what you want. Why? Because your collector wants to feel. Assured, as a consumer, they want to know that. Look, if I don't, if I don't like this, I have someone here to call. This person's legit. This person's not playing around. They stand behind their work. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I hope you learned something today. Logo, info about the 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 the, 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 the artwork, right? Logo right here. Info about the artwork. Okay. Signature, and info. Contact info. A lot of people don't do this. They get stuck on other stuff. They get stuck on fancy. Do not get stuck on fancy. If you're serious about your career, your business, don't get stuck on fancy. You will not move forward. Believe me. I know what I'm talking about. I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a finer artist. And I have a lot of great info for you guys out there. Take care.